to your today's lesson is about reminding you about how to change top heavy fractions into mixed fractions. Okay, this is exercise 6 in the homework that you've been given today. I hope you can see this clearly, this video. Okay, so today we're going to be changing top heavy into mixed. This not this not Money, obviously. Zoom goes now. Zoom in there. Okay. I'm going to go through question number one first. Exercise six, nine quarters. I hope you can see this. That says nine quarters. Now nine quarters means nine divided by four. So if you write that down, nine divided by four. Now, how many fours go into nine, Samia? Well, if you know your times tables, you know four going nine two times. It'll give you two, and you'll have one left over, because four times by two is eight, but you've got nine here. So it'll be two, remainder one. Okay, so we start off with the question. This is the working out. It means nine divided by four, nine divided by four, equals two, remainder one. And this is how you finish it off. You put the two at the front. That's the, that's the whole number part. The remainder goes on the top, and your bottom number from here will go on the bottom over here. So, the remainder goes on the top, the whole number goes over here, and the bottom number goes over there. So your final answer for that will be two and one quarter. Okay, I hope you can see that uh, nice and clearly. This is the first time I'm using this technology to teach me. I hope it's working for you. So let's go through that question again. Nine quarters means nine, that line means divide by four. So write it down over here, 9 divided by 4. Now, how many 4s go into 9? It goes twice, with the remainder of 1. Now, we need to interpret this answer. This answer here of 2 remainder 1 is not the final answer, because obviously you want to get to a mixed fraction. Okay? So you put the 2 at the front, the remainder goes on the top, and the bottom number goes over there. So it gives us the final answer of 2 and 1 quarter. Okay. Okay, I hope you got that. If you want to copy that, then I'll give you a few seconds to copy that down. And then I'm going to go on to another example from your exercise. And then I'll leave you to do the exercise, inshallah, yourself. And hopefully, uh, you will have a good time doing the exercise. You will understand it more clearly. Okay? Hopefully, you've got this example down now. Give you a few more seconds. Because I need to uh, rub that part of the board off. Or maybe not. Let's look at another example. Exercise, back to exercise six. Let's look at something. Okay, right. Let's look at question number, oh, there's 36 questions. Let's look at question number 24. Question number 24 is 53 twelfths. 53 over 12. Okay, I'm going to put a line so you can see that I've finished one question. I'm starting the next question. 53 twelfths. What does that mean? That means 53 divided by 12. 53 divided by 12. So what's 53 divided by 12? So the question is how many 12s will go into 53? So if you go through your times tables, 12 times by 4 is 48, is the closest we're going to get. So the answer is going to be 4. So 12 will go into 53 4 times. Now that gives us a total of 48. But here we've got 53. So we've got to do a little calculation. 53 take away 48 to work out the remainder is. And if you do that mentally, you'll know the answer is 5. Okay. Right. Now, if you look at the answer over there, 4 remainder 5, 
So we start back from here. We had the question 53 twelfth, which reads 53 divide. This line means divide. Divide by 12. We've written that over here. 12 goes 53 four times because 12 times by 4 is 48. That leaves us a remainder of 5. Like I said before, this is not the final answer. We then need to put the 4 at the front. We put the remainder part on the top. And the initial number at the bottom, the denominator, 12, gets copied across. So the answer becomes 4 and 5 twelfths. Okay, I hope that question is nice and clear for you. So that's me. I've done two examples for you. That should be enough example there for you now to do the rest of the questions for homework. I hope you understand this work, Samir, and I hope you do a good piece of homework. And can you make sure you make it nice and neat and clear and that you always listen to your mother and don't make her sick. Okay, thank you, Samir. Uh, after finish looking at these examples and copying them down, I'll give you a few more seconds uh, while I move out of the way and you can copy these examples down and that's the way I want you to do that exercise 6 that's been in your homework don't forget today you've also got to do your reading Samia you've got a reading to do and you've also got that mental arithmetic sheet to do as well and you'll have to read, look at this file on the on your computer you'll find it on there as top heavy to mix file on your desktop okay same as what you done yesterday inshallah okay I'll give you a few more seconds to copy this down Okay, Samir, I'm going to count to 10 and then I'm going to switch the recording off so you won't be able to see anymore. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, Samir.